So hi everybody, welcome back to another video. It is that time again. How quick has this time come round? It is time for my monthly favourites. It is time for March favourites. It literally seems five minutes since I done February's favourites. Um, this year is going to fly by, I can see it. It's going to be Christmas before we know it. Anyway, I've got some fab ones. I've got some really great favourites this month. Um, Along the way through March, I have picked up some things that have made me very happy, actually. One in particular um, really made me happy. It was a little gift to myself. Um, but they are all really, really fab, definite, firm favourites. I think you're going to really like this. So, let's get straight into it. Okay, I am going to start off with this one. I love this. It is my Stanley dupe. Now, Stanley, if you buy one of these, Stanley is like the outdoor brand that do the, we'll call it the legit one, the proper one. But the Stanley one is, I think it's about 80, 90 pounds, sometimes more. Now, I must admit, I did look, and then I thought, no, I, I'm not paying 80, 90 pound for a water bottle. So, I went onto Amazon, I typed in um, Stanley dupe, Stanley cup dupe, and these came up. Now this was, this was about 25 pounds. They do them in all sorts of colors. Um, there's lots on there. If you just type in, if you're looking for one, if you just type in Stanley dupe, loads will come up on Amazon. Um, so I got the like natural light like, brown stony colour which I absolutely love. This holds so much water. This is keeping me hydrated all day, every day. Um, obviously I'll wash it up every night. You can, I mean you can see my lipstick around the store because I've been drinking from it since early this morning. Um, but it, it holds so much water. Um, it comes with the long straw obviously if you are going to have hot drinks you'll take the straw out um and then obviously that turns round so you'll cover the hole up there um and yeah it is fab i absolutely love it um a lot lot cheaper than um the stanley one and to me i mean is there going to be that much difference i'm only using it um for water i think i don't think i'm going to use it for hot drinks um, in the summer I will just fill it with ice um, and it, this fab absolutely love it so I think it was 24 25 pounds as opposed to I'm sure a Stanley one um, correct me if I'm wrong but it's like between 80 and 100 pounds so same thing but a lot lot cheaper so absolutely love this so if you want one go on Amazon type in Stanley dupe so this has been a firm 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 March favorite um and i think also as well it's making me drink more water i just have it i just have it stood on the side um and i will just constantly zip it throughout the day it's, so it's really really good for hydration so really really love that that's my first march favorite um second like a health type thing now I walked i had never been into a holland and barrett shop in my life i am 48 and i had never been in a holland and barrett but as you would know if you watch my videos um i had covid and then the congestion um all around here this feeling here just stayed it lingered and it lingered and i was just so fed up of it i i took so many um tablets and different bits and it just wasn't budging and I got so fed up with having to take tablets different medicines and all of that and I thought something just said to me right I'm going to go in Holland and Barrett and I'm going to see what they've got so first of all they were a lovely lady such a lovely lady in there so so helpful um she showed me to all the like the congestion part and um I got a congestion spray, a completely natural spray. Um, I'd spray that a couple of times a day at the nose, um, and it was great. Used all that up, um, but at the same time, when I was in there, she actually said to me, I didn't ask about this because I, I'd never heard of it. 
Um, but she actually mentioned to me while I was there, she tried, have you tried, she said, have you tried Manuka honey? And I said, no, no, never heard of it. I'd heard of people taking honey for various bits. Never actually heard of Manuka honey, living under a stone, obviously, because everyone else seems to have. Um, so she showed me, she took me to the Manuka honey stand. She said to me, people swear by it. She said, as soon as they get it in, it flies off the shelf. Um, people swear by it for their health. Um, it, you know, the people that take it, they don't get colds, blah, 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 blah. And she said to me, she was showing me all the different, because there's like different numbers, isn't there, of strength. And um, it, it got quite pricey. The higher the number, the more pricey it was. But then she said, we've actually got some on sale. So it's a great time to try it out while it's on sale. So I did. And I am so glad I did. I take a spoonful <coughs> of this every morning, if I show you. I got it in the 340 um, one, which is like a mid-strength. It does go up to quite high. And the higher the strength, um, the more pricey it gets. I think it can go up to like, now this one was meant to be, I feel this was meant to be 40 or 50 pounds, but I got it in the sale for like, I think 18. And I am so glad I did. Will I keep repurchasing it? Yes, I will. Now, my congestion has completely gone and it was bad. It was really, really bad. I don't know obviously and i cannot say for a fact that it's down to this but i do know that since i have been taking this um spoonful every morning my congestion has gone it has cleared i feel i don't feel poorly um and i can't say for sure that it is this obviously you know, could it be the placebo effect? Who knows? But I'm going to continue taking it simply for the fact that my congestion has gone. I don't think, I don't think it was the spray that done it. I don't think the spray completely got rid of it. It eased it at times. It would ease it. It would be like a temporary, like, relief from it. Whether that got rid of it, I don't know. I don't think it did. I think this is really, really helping. Now, I have, I have, Mm, I'd say probably a third, about a third of the jar, um, and I'm going to continue, I'm going to get this, I mean I was lucky enough to get it on sale when it was on sale, so it was a good price for me to try it, um, so like I, thought, I think the normal price is about £40, £50 pounds and it does go up, but she said people just swear by it, honestly it just flies off the shelf, and this was a revelation to me, like I say, I'm a complete Holland and Barrett, um, you know, I've got a points card now, it's like, you know, flipping left the shop, it was amazing, um, because sometimes you just get fed up of taking the tablets, the medicine, and you know, nothing gives relief, and like I say, I can't say for sure, but I feel that this has really, really helped. So I am going to continue. So it is the Manuka Honey, um, Manuka Farm, um, Monofloral, it's the 340, but it goes up in different strengths. So obviously the lower the strength, um, the, le uh, the less expensive, then it goes up to quite expensive, I think. I'm not sure of the like the top one you can get. Maybe let me know if you do take it, if you've, you know, let me know in the comments below if you have took Manuka Honey, if you are taking it, what you think, what's your opinion on it, um, what is the highest strength you can get, because I'm not completely sure. But I've been loving it and it is a firm, 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 again, March favourite. So we have Manuka Honey, we have the Stanley Jupe, what next? A couple of weeks ago, um, it was a few days before Mother's Day I think, um, I took a quick trip to London for something and um, I had time afterwards to have a quick look around St Pancras before I got the train home. And I didn't realise until this particular day, I mean the amount of times I've been to St Pancras and I didn't realise there was a Fortnum and Mason in St Pancras. How could I not know that? I think it was because it's at the other end to what I normally go. Anyway. I have wanted a Fortnum and Mason hamper for so, so long, so, so long. So I went in and obviously they've got the big ones, which was pretty impractical for me to take home on the train. Then I saw this, just the right size. So I chose for myself, it was like a little Mother's Day gift to myself. Um, so I chose and everything I chose has all gone. It was amazing. I chose, I think it was the English breakfast tea bags I put in 
um, I put in coffee beans, their coffee beans are amazing, and I put, um, they were the stem ginger biscuits, oh my god, <laughs> insane, absolutely everything was wonderful as you probably would expect it to be, um, and the thing was if you spent, you had to spend about 30 to 35 pounds on items, to go in and then you got to buy the basket for I think 30 or 35 but your items that you put in had to come to like 30 pounds to be able to buy the basket for 35 something like that um and it was fab and I it was a little treat from me to me and everything that was in this hamper I absolutely loved the ginger stem were amazing when I go back to St Pancras I will be stocking up um and I love this little basket I've wanted one of these for so so long I keep this now on my kitchen windowsill and I absolutely love it this is a firm firm March favourite it was a little treat Mother's Day treat to me and it made me really happy I'll be honest it made me really happy it was something it was somewhere I'd wanted to go for ages and every time like Atticus and I have been to London I never get around to going um, and then so when I saw it in St Pancras, it was like, yes, now is the time. Little treat to myself. So absolutely love that. So that is a firm March favourite. So next, a book. Um, I have started this one. It's a bit of nice light relief from, I was reading um, Lost Connections. It was like a um, on depression um, psychological book and it was quite heavy. Very, very good though. Um, so this is a nice bit of light relief for me um, for March. I am, I'm on page oh, 98, I think. It's good, it's good. Like I say, bit of light relief. It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. Um, most of you must have heard of Colleen Hoover. Um, I've read one of her books before, um, Verity, which I read, um, I took it to Ibiza last year and I read, I finished it throughout that holiday. It was amazing. Um, and she's got so many books out. Um, I went into W.H. Smith the other day and I could not believe how many books this author has got out. Um, but I'm going to finish this one, then I will read the second one, um, which is It Starts With Us. Which you think that would be the other way around. You think the first one in the series would be It Starts With Us, then you'd think it would be It Ends With Us. But it's not. Apparently this is the first one, It Ends With Us, and then the second one is It Starts With Us. So I'm going to finish this. It's really good. Um, I'll put my glasses on and I will read you the back of it, the, the story of, um, brief story. Okay. Sometimes the one who loves you is the one who hurts you the most. Lily hasn't always had it easy, but that's never stopped her from working hard for the life she wants. She's come a long way from the small town in Maine where she grew up. She graduated from college, moved to Boston and started her own business. So when she feels a spark with a gorgeous neurosurgeon named Ryle Kincaid, everything in Lily's life suddenly seems almost too good to be true. Ryle is assertive, stubborn and maybe even a little arrogant. He's also sensitive, brilliant and has a total soft spot for Lily. But Ryle's complete aversion to relationships is disturbing. As questions about her new relationship overwhelm her, so do thoughts of Atlas Corrigan, her first love, and a link to the past she left behind. He was her kindred spirit, her protector. When Atlas suddenly reappears, everything Lily has built with Riley is threatened. With this bold and deeply personal novel, Colleen delivers a heart-wrenching story that breaks exciting new ground for her as a writer. It ends with us, an unforgettable tale of love that comes at the ultimate price. Really good. I haven't got to the bit yet where um, Atlas um, comes in the story. I haven't got to that bit yet um so i'm looking forward to that so yeah nice nice book nice it seems easy read after reading all the like psychology type thing um yeah really enjoying that been reading that um throughout march and hopefully i will finish that pretty soon so next nail colors i absolutely am obsessed with barry m nail colors um, they have such a great range of colors they're like 3.99 each and they're good they're pretty long wearing and they dry quickly, which <clears throat> is ideal for me. So I got this one a couple of weeks ago and I've just been repainting my nails. Every time I do them, I tend to do them like once a week. And every time I'm just reaching for this colour, absolutely love it. It is this one. Um, it is Peony. Peony? Peony. Um, it's a new shade in. And I absolutely love it. I've got it on my nails today. I mean, it's looking a little bit worse for wear now. I painted these, I believe, Sunday morning, I think. Um, and obviously I do lots of cleaning, washing up, blah, 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 in between. So they're looking a bit worse for wear now. But that 
is the colour and I absolutely love it. Um, it's pink. It is pink. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. So really, really recommend this shade as we go into spring and summer. That is Peony, Peony, Peony by Barry M. That's been a firm, firm March favourite. Next, another bit of makeup. I showed this in my, um, I don't know, makeup, my everyday makeup routine, um, a few videos down. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it down below. Um, and I showed this one in that. And I tried it for the first time on camera when I was doing my everyday makeup routine. And it's been on my lips every day that I've worn makeup. It is my new everyday lipstick. It is amazing. A lot of you actually um, messaged me um, after the um, after you'd watched the makeup routine video to say you'd actually gone and purchased it the next day um, and you're absolutely loving it. So really, really pleased about that. It is such a nice shade. I have got it on my lips today. It is MAC Hug Me. Um, as you can see, it's like a, it's, do you know what? I'll just show you. I'll stop rambling on, I'll show you. A dark, nudie, browny, natural colour. Really, really nice. And like I said, I've got it on my lips today. It's not too light, not too dark. It is just so, so nice. It's from their Lust range. It's not like matte at all, as you can see. Um, and I just absolutely love it. It's been on my lips every single day. It feels nice. It feels nice and that's really important to me I don't like matte lipsticks um I also got I got this actually the same day as I got the Fortnum Amazing Things as a gift to myself that I'm gonna go back I'm gonna get myself a new lipstick as well it's a little treat day for me um and um yeah I got this that same day and I absolutely love it I would repurchase this definitely it's a really really nice colour so MAC hug me um firm March favourite okay we have, last of all, <clears throat> we have some TV. Yes, we do. I have watched some TV. Now, Anastasia, my wonderful daughter, recommended this to me. Um, she has watched, I think she's watched all three seasons. She said, Mum, you have got to watch Manifest. Okay. Now, this came from, we both watched the documentary on Netflix about the missing um, Malaysian flight. And we were discussing that after we'd watched it and um, this, and it brought this up. She said to me, Mum, you have to watch Manifest. Um, so I was like, you know, is it worth investing? Is it good? You know, time is precious. It's just, Mum, you will absolutely love it. So I went on to Netflix and Manifest Season 1 wasn't on Netflix. So I went on to Amazon um, Prime Video and you can buy it on there. Um, you can't get it free, you can buy it on there. So I bought um, Manifest Season 1, I think it was 19.99, and um, I am currently on Episode 9. So what I've done, else it will just take me forever and ever to watch all the seasons, and I believe the second part of Season 4, I think I've got that right, is coming out pretty soon, so I want to like watch it all before that comes, so I can watch that and know what's happening. Um, so what I've done, um, I've got Amazon Prime Video on the telly, obviously, um, but also I put it onto my phone, so I can watch it while I'm, I could just put it on the windowsill in the phone holder, I can watch it while I'm washing up, I can watch it, you know, if I'm in the car waiting for Atticus, um, and it's, it's enabled me by putting it on my phone to be able to watch it a lot lot quicker than I would if I just had to wait to sit in front of the telly and I am absolutely loving it manifest so so good now I did make the mistake which I sort of wish I hadn't but I sort of stopped myself um I did google some bits because I was so invested I was just like so oh my god what's going to happen what's going to happen and I won't say obviously because some of you might not have watched it um but, but I did find out a couple of things when I googled which I wish I hadn't but then I like stopped myself from reading anymore um and it is so so good it is about a plane it is about um some passengers on a, I don't want to give too much away but um the plane basically um so there's all the passengers on the plane and the plane 
in our time goes missing for five and a half years i think it is um, but the people on the plane no time has passed at all when it actually lands um, so that is the starting point of um, the story and it is so so good let me know if you've watched manifest i'm pretty late to the party i realize that as always um, but it is so so good so that has been a firm firm march favorite and will continue to be i would say as i get through them seasons before um the final one well i think we actually find out anastasia said we actually find out what happens which i cannot wait so i just want to get all them done i'm sure i will be watching it throughout april and may um so that is my march favorites i thought there were some really good ones in there everything really really good um could totally recommend all of it i hope you enjoyed and i will see you soon for another video